How's it going everyone? Phil here from Fierce Technology. This is a 2021 Tesla Model 3 blue with white interior. This particular model is the standard range plus, which is the cheapest variation, but the blue color, the white interior is the same on the long range and the performance. So if you're looking at order in any one of those ones, then it's gonna look exactly the same. You can see right now I'm parked right with the sun, just absolutely glistening right on to the car itself. And it's a little bit windy here, so I apologize for that wind noise, but uh, you can see the color just stands out really, really nicely right here. So it looks absolutely fantastic the color looks different when you look at the color uh, in the nighttime it looks a lot darker of a blue but this in the daytime with the Sun shining you can just see how nice it looks it's a little bit darker on this side because the Sun's not glaring on this side so you can see the color definitely looks a lot different when you look at it from this side without the Sun compared to when we switch over right to this side again and you can see that Sun just shining down and showing that color. Uh, white interior is what this one has, and I will go over a couple of the differences for a 2021. Uh, so the previous uh, generation, or the, was it 2017, 2018 Model 3s and all the way up to 2020, had the chrome trim that goes around the edging right here. And as you can see on this, it's all black. So 2021, they introduced the black trim around the edging as well as the black door handles. So there are previously chrome door handles as well. Uh, personally, I love it because it definitely gives it a lot cleaner of a look. And uh, if you actually take your uh, wheel covers off, it's got gray underneath and it matches a lot better with the black. Um, personally, I'm gonna be changing my wheels to uh, custom black 20 inch wheels, gloss black ones that I've picked up, uh, but we'll save that for another video. But I think that black trim looks fantastic, blends in the car perfectly, looks really, really good. I'll go ahead and open up the car right here. We'll have a look at the white interior on here. The biggest complaint and the biggest thing that people question for the white interior is, oh my gosh, it's white, it's gonna get so dirty. Uh, I would never get a white interior. But don't be put off by the white interior. Uh, there's people that have spilled wine and oil and stuff purposely um, and tried to wipe it off and it comes off and looks absolutely brand new. So this is not real leather, it's like a vegan leather. So it actually is very stain resistant. So don't be afraid to get the white interior. I personally prefer the white interior because you, you think about it, uh, in a nice hot day like today, and you've got the sun beating down on your black seats and you get into your car, it's a lot more hot. So it's nice to have the white seats. Um, and personally, I just think it looks a lot more premium. So we'll get right into the car right here. We can see the back seats, nice and white as well. And if we look on the top, you can see we've got the full glass right here. Well, it's actually two panels. So we've got the glass, then we've got the divider bar right here, and then a uh, full glass all the way down to the back right there. So uh, this glass does have coating on here so that sunlight doesn't go through. Uh, so it doesn't get super hot in the cabin, uh, but the side, it still will beat in and that will potentially get your seats hot. So that's one thing to consider as well. Uh, inside the car itself, here we go as I sit down in it. Uh, the 2021s have the different interior, so the center console is a lot different. Um, it's an updated center console, so if we push this back, big, huge, deep storage inside of here. I've got uh, the screen cover and all that stuff, a couple of things in there that I've already put in here. Uh, I, just so you know, I did get this car just today. This is my first day with this car. And uh, we open up the center console right here. Very, very cool. We've got a nice big storage space. And when I got the delivery of my car, they did include this cool little model. Too bad it's red though, I would have liked it if it was blue. But hey, nonetheless, really cool free kind of gift that they gave with it. Um, my phone is right here and you can see this is a dual wireless charging pad right here, which is awesome. I really, really like that. So that's super handy to have and it's nice and like soft. You put your phone down and it perfectly charges for you, um, which is cool. You obviously use your phone as your key for the car as well. So we charge all of that up, but uh, nonetheless, 2021 Tesla Model 3, absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and have a look at the uh, rear trunk and the frunk. So we can open it from the app uh, for the frunk or we can do it right from the screen. We're gonna open the, the frunk from right here. So there we go, it says that it's open. It doesn't actually fully electrically open. The rear is electric, so you can actually, if we tap this open right here, and we can see it electronically opens and we can close it from here if we want to, but we'll leave it open so we can have a look at it. And we'll just get out right here, close the door, let's have a look at the frunk. And if we look 
right here. Open up that front right there. Nice and big inside. So, I mean, great, great amount of storage inside of here uh, for a frunk. Uh, they did reduce it compared to the previous generation because they've got the heat pump inside now. So it's better for the colder climates. Um, so this is slightly like this edging right here is a little bit more. So it's slightly smaller on the front. So that's kind of a, a, a slight downfall of a 2021, but I'm not too concerned about it. I mean, just coming from a regular gas car before to a completely uh, electric car, I never even had a frunk. So having a frunk uh, in the first place is a huge bonus. So to close it, you just uh, just rest it down and then you can just use your one hand and just push it and it locks just like that. No big deal. Let's go around to the back right here. And we can see we've got the rear trunk right here. There is a button to close the rear trunk, which we'll do that in a second. But uh, this is my charger that it came with, which is really cool. It does have like this Velcro on the back. So if we just rest it right here, it doesn't slide around, which I thought it would. Uh, this is the, I guess the tag or the Model 3 Standard Range Plus, some of the details on here. Uh, we got a little pocket right down here, which is kind of cool. It's a little area for more storage. Um, just a really, really deep trunk. Like the amount of storage space in the Teslas, it's just, it's amazing. Not only that, we open up this piece right here. So we have this little piece, this little flap, huge other storage area down here as well. It's crazy how much storage the Teslas have. I'll actually go ahead and we're gonna put my charger that I just did, I put that down there now. So that's kind of out of the way. We'll actually get this piece of paper here. We'll throw that down there as well. And there, now you can see the nice big full trunk and it's flat. We can fold the seats down right there. Uh, so if we go to the back seat, we can just uh, pull those down completely. We're actually gonna close the trunk right here. Just press the button, makes that sound. And there we go closes soft close for that as well and we'll open up the back seat right here and we'll see inside of the back as well so nice pockets right here for it which is really good we do have USB-C connectors whereas the previous generations had USB-A so that's cool updated for those um, in the back seat we'll look right here we've got that pulls down we've got a little cup holder and all that good stuff right there pull that up and if we want to uh, take the back seats down we can just press that and that will go all the way down and then we can have full pass through the other side will pull down as well but I won't do that right now but great that we have that huge amount of space and path through and if we just want to push it back up we'll just do that and we'll just slap it right there there we go but so far, like I said, I, I got the car only today and I am ecstatic, I'm excited, I absolutely love it. Uh, it's my favorite car that I've ever owned, my first electric car, and it's just beautiful. I love the blue with white interior. It was my interior color choice and my exterior color choice. It's what I've always wanted for a Tesla. But there it is, blue with white 2021 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. If you have any questions or comments on this car, let me know in the description down below. The next videos that you see of me posting of this car, there's going to be a few modifications wheels a couple other things so you'll stay tuned for that we'll be posting those but thank you very much if you enjoyed this video again hit that like hit that follow and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye bye